I want to make a VHF oscillator working between say 80 MHz and say 130 MHz. It could be when everything goes right the basis of a uh, airband receiver. So this is the first setup. Uh, this is a <coughs> copper cloth board and I've glued it to a piece of well lacquered wood, in fact a multiplex, and uh, set up a kind of front here, also with that copper cloth board and I want to make a uh, here the VHF oscillator and I want to uh, tune that to the frequency with the help of a 1k potentiometer and that 1k potentiometer drives in a certain way a diode that bridges the coil on say uh, 100 megahertz or so. So when you add voltage to a silicon diode, the capacitance on the barrier layer changes. So even with these diodes, I call them medium, medium, I have two categories, medium and power and silicon uh, sorry, uh, germanium. And I found, for instance, in the past that these silicon diodes, the 1N5408, I've ordered a few of them, you can see that here. 5408. Yes, 5408 uh, can be used as a variable capacitor diodes, so varicaps or varactors or whatever they are called. Uh, the barrier layer of that diode here, this one, uh, has a certain capacitance and when we add a voltage to that barrier layer the capacitance varies, surely, I've tested that many times between say uh, zero picofarad, no zero, that's not real. Uh, say three picofarad and say fifty picofarad. So that's good enough to uh, use it as a varicap. Uh, the first thing when you want to do radio experiments is test your components. With a transistor tester or a capacitor tester, and I've taken out of my big stock here this capacitor, and I know that it is zero up to 20 picofarad, but I'm testing it first because, say, you never know. When there is a shortcut in such a capacitor, this capacitor, for instance, could also be another capacitor, trimmer or whatever. When there is a shortcut and you make your circuit, you can really search for days till you find the clue um, why your circuit doesn't work. And that of course has everything to do with radio experiments. When you buy, for instance, a radio kit or whatever, that's not a problem. All the components are uh, in general okay. But when you work with salvage components, uh, could be that, that they are defective. So you have to take that risk. Components are expensive sometimes especially in the past, in the 1970s and 1980s, components were expensive 
and that's a reason why I solved a lot of them. So let's look whether this capacitor of 20 picofarad does its job. I connect it now to the capacitor tester. So it's now connected to the capacitor tester <coughs> that I published earlier on YouTube. It's connected and um, put the two switches of the capacitor in the right position. And we can see here now that this 20 picofarad capacitor is OK. I have to uh, say test that in this way. Um, for the lowest values, A must be in the middle and B must be up. So A in the middle here, B up. And then we can read on the scale approximately 20 picofarad here. Say the uh, red or kind of purple range. So that capacitor is okay. The most important thing is of course when a capacitor is shortcut. It will surely not work. Uh, no radio circuits will work. And, and I can also show here for instance the hand effect on this capacitor. So when I shortcut the electrodes with my hand you will see a completely <laughs> shortcut um, anyway. That will work. So this component is tested and I will mount this component here in this location, in this way. Ways to say thick, massive copper wires. Here. And then uh, make a hole in the front. And then use a kind of, say, isolated piece of plastic, say, uh, plastic tube or so or whatever to move the plates of this capacitor. In such a case for VHF uh, the hand effect is always present. So that's the reason why I use this circuit, the Manhattan type of making VHF circuits. Uh, they, they are made in this way. Here we have a say saw, sawn out piece and you can break this uh, or do that with a saw so that you have a kind of island and that island is glued here to the say earth plate and you can mount your VHF components on these islands and make a complete say VHF circuit. So that's a kind of simple 